hey guys so i'm in the process of baking and i want to share something kind of like freaky with you guys it's, it's a paranormal experience two incidents happened that's kind of like near each other so the first incident that happened was when i, I was changing my house okay i'm changing and in my bedroom by my nightstand i had my ipad my phone and also my airpods all together just on the nightstand it's not crooked it's not falling off or anything else like that it's directly on top of my nightstand i'm saging i'm saging i'm done saging all of a sudden i didn't hear anything okay all i know is that my ipad my phone my airpods are on the floor that's one incident second incident i was sleeping and all of a sudden i felt somebody just grabbed like the bottom of um of my right leg just up and then i'm 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 like laying down like straight i'm laying down straight and i just feel like my leg just my right leg just moved like like all the way like these are my legs this is like my body these are my legs this is my right leg it just we com went completely like this like somebody just like got their arms and just boop, like that up but yeah, that's my paranormal incident number two. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Kathy Renee here. For those of you joining me for the very first time, my name is Kathy Renee and welcome to the show. All right, you guys. So, so we're going to be talking about her. We're going to be using her. I never really know what to say in an introduction video. But anyways, um, I did a tutorial um, using these colors based off the color layout or color story on the blood sugar palette. I'm looking down right now so that you guys can see what's going on. Alright, so enough of me rambling on. We're gonna get right to it. So enjoy the show, you guys. We're gonna be going in with the blood sugar palette. Right, we're gonna be going in with prick and cherry soda right over here. They're right next to each other. And the brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe M573 brush. So I did the brush into the palette or the pan, whatever you want to call it. I am not going to dust it off. And then little by little, I'm just going to be just dragging it across my eye windshield wiper motion. I just like a little pigmented at a time. And just be gentle with it. Be very patient with it. And you're going to see the color is going to come together take your time with it little circles best way to blend this is really soft and creamy you guys i like how i can build up this color so that's a really good thing especially since we are dealing with reds and just so you guys know i just dipped the brush back into the palette i'm dragging it across my eye right now windshield wiper motion um on like the brow your brow bone crease area over here. Yeah, I don't know what is going on with my camera. I tried to angle the camera like a different way so that we can stop blurring out. But maybe it has to do with my background. I'm not sure. But I'm trying here. And what I'm doing right now is just little circles. Is the best way to blend, you guys. If you're, you know, if you want to blend little circles, is your best friend pretty much. I did the brush back into the palette one more time. And then I'm just doing like this, like packing it on the crease area and just little circles. You have like this watermelon shade right over here. It's so pretty. Next color that we're going in with is Root Canal right over here. And the brush that I'm using is a Morphe M456 brush. All right, so I dipped the brush into the palette. I did not dust it off. What I'm doing right now is I'm packing in this corner. I'm just packing it. Don't worry about blending yet. Because what we're doing right now is just focusing on like the pigment of the color so that way we can blend. If you wanna like press on the color, then blend, go on right ahead. You're still gonna get the same result. But I just feel like this way works best for me. What I went ahead and just did was dip the brush back into the palette. I'm still going to pack it in there. I'm not going to blend yet. I just want my color there first. So that way when we blend, we just focus on that. 
Okay, so now that I have this thing going on here when I want, I know it looks like a mess. That's okay. Little circles is how I'm blending it. Like on the outer corner of the eye. Like right outside of the, the corner of the occipital bone. I may have that wrong, but y'all forgive me because I cannot talk and explain at the same time what I've noticed. But those of you that are watching this, thank you guys for bearing with me even though I talk all messed up. Like it's really hard like to to keep like keep on a topic sometimes because I get ADD and then I forget what I'm talking about and then I just I don't know. I dip the brush back into the palette. I'm just packing her on here since we had already blended out. And of course, when you blend it out, not that the color isn't there anymore. It's just lighter now. It's not that harsh. So we're just blending, you guys. Blend the best that you can. Remember, we are going to go back in and blend. So don't even like be afraid if there's too much color. If it's not blended all the way, we're going to be blending it with another brush. So just, just do the best that you can. It does not have to be, be perfect, okay, guys? It's as long as you love it, and as long as you're comfortable with it, and as long as you're freaking happy with it. Remember, there is no rules to anything. Just love yourself and support yourself. Be your own best friend. And trust me, guys, I had to learn that the hard way. Okay, the next brush that I'm grabbing right now is the Morphe E22 brush. It says, I, I'm not dipping this brush into anything. I'm just using this brush to, to blend out. And I'm going to start by here out and then I'm doing little circles. I'm not doing windshield wiper. I'm only doing little circles. So I'm going to go ahead and begin right now. Because we need to create this gradient. And gradients are really pretty because in my opinion, it just, it just makes everything so smooth and beautiful. Like airbrushed. And it's like so seamless at the same time. And I'm gonna, right now I'm going to focus on this end over here because it looks a little bit harsh. And that's okay if something looks harsh. Because you want to know why? We're going to go back in and blend. Now my end is a little, getting a little bit tired, but that's okay. And you guys, the weather is so beautiful outside. Like it's really sunny and it's so fresh. It's like December 1st today, just so you guys know. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but I just want to let you guys know that today is December the 1st. We have such nice weather out here in Miami, Florida. And I love it because it's that type of weather that you can just keep your your windows open. And you don't get cold, you don't get hot. It's like everything is just right. I love it. I love my city. I mean, and of course, I love my city because this is the, this is the city that I've lived here the longest. But I'm just blending out. Didn't mean to get sidetracked there. I'm really sorry, you guys. I'm going back in with the Morphe 456 brush. I dipped the brush back into the palette. And I'm just still packing her on here. I want her to be super intense. I'm going to keep blending it out here, too. Just make sure everything is even on the other, other eye, of course. All right, you guys. So I know everything looks pretty rough right now. But that's okay. We're still in the process. Remember, you guys, you have to trust the process. What I'm going to do right now is cut the crease and I will be right back. I cut the crease using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Flat White Corrector. The brush that I used to cut the crease is the Morphe M167 brush. Looks a little something like this. We're going to be going in with Sweetener right over here. The brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe M522 brush. All right, so I did the brush into the palette. I did not dust it off. What I'm going to do is, um, since the concealer is still wet, I'm just going to be pressing on the pigment right over here. It's okay if it's messy. Does it really matter? I mean, it does matter. I, you know, I do suggest that you be careful with the crease area right over here. I, I dipped the brush back into the palette. I'm still packing... I'm concentrating on packing this crease area right over here. I really hope that you guys can see. I'm going to try to bring the mirror closer to me as possible. Just so that okay, I can stop crapping out by now. I just keep packing it on here. Oh, as good as that, the concealer is still wet. So, I mean, it's just going to grab on this color and make it extra shinier. 
and since um, it's gonna be making it wet it's gonna create like a more like shine metallic consist consistency but it's okay if it's a little messy it's a little rough I know that we're gonna be correcting it ev everything later all right so next color that we're gonna be going in with is candy floss right over here the brush that we're using is a Morphe M522 brush. I dip the color into the palette. I'm not dusting it off. I'm taking advantage of the fact that the concealer is still wet. And if it happens to dry, just get the brush that you use the concealer with. So that way you can re-wet it again. Into the crease area though. Alright, so I'm just packing it on here effortlessly. Just keep packing it on there. If you want to like smooth it out, go ahead. You can do that. That's what I'm doing. And just take your time, you guys. And since I have hooded lids, I'm going to like do this. Like raise my eyebrows so I can just create more space and kind of squint at the same time. So I can really, really get in there. And I think I pretty much got it all there. Alright, so I'm going to keep blending out both sides. I'm going to shut the camera off for a little bit. I'm gonna come back with my liner for you guys can see the finished blended look. So off camera, I went ahead and finished blending and I went ahead and did my eyeliner. The liner that I use is from NYX. Um, it's the Epic Ink Eyeliner in black, as you can see over here. Um, the benefit, if you guys saw like something here earlier, I had tape. The reason why I put tape is because when I do my eyeshadow, it's just an easier cleanup and instead of you just getting like concealer or like the makeup wipe and just wiping it. At the same time with the tape, I, I, I get the mirror, I look down and I just like draw a line and then try to even it as much as possible with the other eye. So that's a good way of using the tape. Alright, so I'm going to do my lashes off camera and I'm also going to do the rest of the face. For lashes, I'm going to use the Lily Lashes and the Style Dallas right over here. So, I will be right back. Okay. Alright, so next colors that we're going to be going in with is Blood Sugar and Fresh Meat. The brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe E36 brush. Okay, so I dip the brush into the palette. I did not brush it off. So what I'm doing is, is a weird angle over here. Just I want to make sure you guys see this. And I want to keep my eye open because <laughs> a girl always gets some stuff in her eye. Okay, so I'm just packing it on here. Okay, packing it on. We're going to be blending it out. And then there we go. We're blending it out. Little by little, take your time. There's a reason why I have it at this angle here. So I want you guys to see. And at the same time, you don't have to get it in your eye. You know how to do this technique, I'm just, you know, I know I look a little ridiculous right now, but that's okay. I just, I want you guys to see the outcome of it. Just keep blending. And the reason why I do the bottom of my eyes, because I have hooded lids. And I feel, and in my opinion, is if I do the top, why not do the bottom? And at the same time, look at it as a picture. Like, you see, like, you normally, like, a picture, you know, you, you see it. You see the picture and then you see like the frame around it. So think about uh, your eye as your picture and you're framing your eye by decorating the bottom and also the top lid. So that's why I do it. This is optional. You don't have to do this. All right, so I'm pretty much done. I'm going to finish the rest of the face off camera and then we will come back and talk about the palette. Okay, I think this is it. All right, so I'm back. I went ahead and did a little touches here and there. This is the finished look. This is the final product. All right, the moment that you guys have been waiting for. And I appreciate each and every one of you that is super patient about all of this. The blood sugar palette, you guys. Let's talk about her. And it, first of all, I just want to say this is like super soft faux leather. I really appreciate it. And like the, it's obviously like printed and embedded on here where it says blood sugar and also the Jeffree Star logo. Really nice, really soft. So soft that I was like, um, I was scared if I scratched it because there was a point that I kind of like grabbed it with like my whole like hand. I was like, oh gosh, I scratched it. But no, I accidentally scratched it and nothing was done to it. 
so that's really good because sometimes when when there's really pretty pretty packaging i feel so bad when i ruin it um i love that it has these little clasps here it's really unique i love it what I like is that when you open it, it doesn't like it's a, it doesn't take forever to open it. You don't have to like exactly pull it. It just like just does this. All right, so let's talk about these colors. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold it like this because I don't want the camera or the the reflection of anything coming out. I'm holding it the best way that I can. Also, this is pretty light. Um, so let's say if you're taking this on the go somewhere, it's pretty light. It's not like you're gonna break your hand or anything. I like how all of the colors in the pans just complement each other. The color story is beautiful, but most importantly about the color story, I feel is the how you know how does it blend? Does it blend well? Yes, everything blends well. I like the way that it was pressed onto the pan because obviously, like the the if it's I have noticed that with the pan, if it's pressed like super hard, it's really hard to get the the color payoff. Other than that, it's pressed lightly. I don't know how lightly it's pressed, but it, this palette is pressed just right to the point that I can always build up my color. And also, not only that I can build it up, I can always blend it seamlessly without an issue, without a problem. So, of course, prior to this video, I went ahead and just tried out all the colors because that's the point of this palette. We gotta review it. But it took me a while to get this palette only because I was waiting for it to go on sale. I don't make a lot of money, but um, I love taking advantage of a sale. I love getting a discount. So sign up for the emails, you guys. Like He's always like announcing what kind of um, sale he has going on. Take advantage. But yeah, this palette for me is definitely a goal. It's a must. You need to have it. I'm not just saying that, but... Honestly, like so far, um, all of the formulas have not been an issue with me. And yeah, I can't wait to create more looks with this for you guys. All right, you guys. So now that we are done, I'm talking about the palette. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look as well. I had super fun creating this. And I just love these tones. I don't know. I just I cannot seem to get away from it. And I cannot wait to do more looks with this palette for you guys. Well, enough of that. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you that hop on to this channel. I appreciate um, all the subscribers. Uh, to be honest with you, it's really hard setting time aside doing this. But every time I'm behind camera, I just feel like so relieved. This is kind of like therapy and um, I'm happy that I have a really good audience that is able to support that, I guess. But anyways, enough chit-chatting. You know, if you guys haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, share with your friends and your family. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'll greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next show. Goodbye.